What up guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Oh Hello Stationery Co. washi tape review for you. These are all the tapes that I have purchased from Oh Hello. Um, and I'm just going to review them for you in terms of quality and um, ability and any pros and cons and stuff I have with them and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. First up, I am going to show you each washi tape individually and I'll have the name linked on the screen. I'm just going to do this to music just because I'm not 100% of all the names and I don't want to like throw you guys off. <laughs> said these are all the tapes that I have purchased from Oh Hello over the, the time they've been selling washi. Now these bottom seven I got in one order. I ordered them all together and then these top ones I ordered all together as well. There are three different kinds of washi here. These ones are all the same obviously. These six and these six are all the same and this one is an entirely different quality and I wouldn't be surprised if it's a different brand as well. Um, I bought all of these for different reasons, some of them just because they were pretty, some because I wanted them for certain things, so I bought the skinny ones because, you know, you can never have too much skinny washi, especially when it's hard to find certain colours. The Elephant Love I got um, because of my friend Caitlin, she loves elephants and I was like, this reminds me of her, so I've, I've got it. The Chevron one I got because it's the same colour pattern for um, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, so I want to use that in that spread. The four leaves I got because it's coming up to autumn here, so I picked those up. This, like, lemons and lime cocktail ones I got because I did a pink lemonade spread. You would have seen that. I'll link that video somewhere in a card or below. Um, I got the trees because they were really pretty. Like, I, I really liked it. It was something a little bit different and would be nice for a woodland spread. The shamrocks I got for... St. Patrick's Day, the String of Lights, I got partly for Christmas but partly because that's just so gorgeous. The Hollywood Stars I got because I like that star washi. The Poppies I got for Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. The Watercolours I got because they're pretty. The Candles I got to put um, down for people's birthdays and I just haven't done it. The Road Washi I got because I travel a lot and I needed some something to indicate that and I liked this Road Washi. And the Stripes I got because they were pretty. Now in in ways of review okay um, for the colored ones I'm going to review I'm, I'm reviewing the colored ones as a collection so I'm only going to review a couple of these tapes because they are the same qualities and stuff it's just going to depend on what's on them so okay so I am reviewing the entire range of washi as I said but these are the ones that I've got I wanted to show you the ones that I've got and I'm reviewing certain ones from each type so the rest of the washi I'm just going to lay on the side here I'm just going to tilt this really quick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each piece of washi and I'm going to cover the lines with it 
So I've, t I've pulled out my Erin Condren horizontal, as you can see here. So I'm just going to talk about each kind of washi. I don't have my Erin Condren ruler to rip these with, but I do have another ruler that I'm going to use. So it will do. So starting first with the skinny washies, I've just laid four of them here in samples. I chose the dark blue, the neon green, the grey and the pastel yellow. Now I did put them over the top of the line so you can see the transparency of these, which I think is important. The dark blue and the grey, you really can't really see the lines at all. The grey may be a little, but on the neon colour and the... Um, pastel colour you can. Now these tapes ripped relatively easily although you can quite kind of tell it's not a perfect rip however I wasn't I also wasn't trying so it could possibly be different in that case. You can buy these tapes on the Oh Hello website um, as singles so if you only want one of these colours you can buy them like that or if you want all 10 you can get all 10 as well that is always an option. Now, as I said, they did rip quite nicely um, up off the page. Uh, sorry, they did rip quite nicely. If I try to peel one up off the page, they peel up beautifully. And then to re-stick... Okay, yep, that doesn't peel up anywhere. That's actually really, really good. I really like that. I highly re recommend their skinny tapes, especially after looking at this. They also don't, where you join them again, let's see, here, um, this is where it's kind of joined back over. Let me see if that will focus better. I might choose a different colour actually so you can try and see the line. Maybe this one. Oh no, that's worse. Alright, we'll stick with the blue here. Um, yeah, you can see where I sort of, where the rip is, and it doesn't flake up. You know how some washies will peel up like so? It doesn't do that. It sticks back down to itself really, really nicely, so I really, really like that. Moving on, I'm going to select this tape next. This one, if we just compare to, say, the road washi, you can see the difference. This one is a lot chunkier. There's a little more on the roll. Um, the, the bind, the, uh, the... What's it called? Like the cardboard in on the inside is slightly thicker. This is all very much tight, more of a tight compaction to this one. Yeah, so. As far as I know, this is the only washi of this description on their site in this style. I haven't seen another one. There we go. Okay, so this is this one laid down. Now... You can see a slight pinkish tinge next to these two here, and that's from the pink on the tape. It, as a lot of um, pinks do, it does rub off a little bit, so that's a bit of a con. And you can see the lines through the white, it's a little bit transparent, but that's okay. Like, it is a washi tape, most people expect that, so that's fine. It went down really easily, it ripped absolutely beautifully on this side here, absolutely beautiful. Let's try and peel that up. Peels off with no damage. And lays back down relatively nicely. The corner that you I peeled from is peeling up. But other than that, it, um, it went down really, really nice. So I highly, highly recommend this washi. As I said, this is the only one on their site that is like this, which is a bit of a bummer because it is beautiful, but that's okay. We can deal, right? So now onto these ones. I'm just going to test the three. I'm testing the watercolours because it's a little bit more transparent. This one because it's all solid colour and this one because it's darker. Okay, so they went down pretty easily, pretty nicely. I didn't try, obviously they're not straight or anything like that, but they went down beautifully. Um, they ripped so clean, like so, so clean. I really like that. Peel this one up. They peel up like a dream, actually. They peel up beautifully. And they go down pretty well as well. Let's just zoom you guys in down there as well. So, you can see the lines through all of these, except with these darker colours, it's 
pretty faded out but you can see the lines through all of them and I would assume it would be the same for the rest of the collection which is just on the side here as well um, I really really like them the only downside I have found to these particular washi tapes is these ones haven't done it now but if you peel up a tape it flicks on the end like this quite a number of them have done it let me see this one's doing it really bad um, that one's a little bit it just varies of each tape as to how much they do it sometimes they don't sometimes they do and I do think that's a little bit of a downer um, in regards to these tapes but other than that I really really like them Oh Hello have a ton of patterns, a ton of um, styles and all of that. I did forget to mention um, previously, Oh Hello tapes are 15 uh, millimeters or 1.5 centimeters, which is a standard tape. That's all of these ones. And then their skinny washies are seven, which is fine. So, yeah, I know this is a little bit of a quick review, but that's cool. So, as I said, absolutely love these washi tapes. They're so, so beautiful. I highly, highly recommend them. Highly, highly recommend Oh Hello in general. I am... I was one of the people that they did choose to do their collaboration with their social media collaboration. So, I do have my own coupon code, which is Dreamweaver for 10% off your order of $10 or more. That code is linked down below as well as Oh Hello. There is a um, a referral link for you to get five dollars off or maybe ten dollars off. I can't remember. I think it's only five dollars off your um, first purchase when you sign up to their website, and that is all linked down below. Um, they also have a great system with um, poppy points and stuff. If you'd like to see a video on poppy points, let me know in the comments below, and I can do that for you as well. I highly, highly, highly recommend Oh Hello. Kayla and I, Alex are absolutely fabulous. And yeah, so as I said, there's a coupon code and a referral link down below. Feel free to use them or not. It's completely up to you. Their shop is always linked down below, but I will also link their both their Etsy stores, both the sticker one and the washi one, because they do have a washi-specific Etsy shop. And then on their website, you can get everything as well as their Doris books and other stationery items. So I'll link that below as well. And I will also link it down below the Oh Hello Stationery Co. Instagram. All of those links will be in the description bar with my coupon code Dreamweaver for 10% off. So that's it guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like Oh Hello. Also go ahead and subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!